Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn here with our down the drain map where we have got lots of beavers. Look at them go. Zoom. Um, uh, I have got rid of the two foresters here and we're chopping down all of these trees, including the pine trees. We're chopping down a lot because uh, we want to get rid of them all because this is up and running. You can see here we have a few trees go in. We've got loads of pine resin in here coming along. Uh, these are going to be grown soon and so are these so everything is awesome there are a few things however we're going to need to and um, beavers are coming and going uh, we're having death waves happen which i'd expect when you build all these buildings in one go um, it makes sense for you to have like lots of beavers born and then lots die so i kind of need to stagger the buildings when i build them next i don't know what i want to do um right now we have two sets of six so we got oh, sorry we got uh six 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 and six so we've got four sets of six um and that takes us to 144 beds i want to build another two sets of them which will take us to 288 beavers and that's where we're going to go and that's where we're going to stop and all those beavers are going to basically live the life of luxury but they're all going to live in the rivers here here, 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 and here. Um, I think, and the fly walls will go behind it up here. So we'll have houses here, 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 and here. And the beavers can just go about doing whatever they need to do. And hopefully, we'll have bots do most of the stuff. So the beavers will pretty much spend all their time chilling in the entertainment district, which is going to be here. So that's the idea. That's the idea. We could put all the houses here for that because. I'm pretty sure 90% of the buildings can be run by beavers, uh, bots, sorry. The only ones that can't are the observatory that cannot become a bot building. Um, running wheels, power wheels, they cannot be there, beaver only. Um, I think it tells you in here, so yeah, that's beaver only. Yeah, so we can't do any science with beavers. However, a mine can become science. So you can switch that to science and uh, you know, we can run there. There's a few other buildings that are only beaver only, and there's a couple that are bot only. But um, I think generally we can run everything on bots, which would be nice. Um, so if we're going to make, like, this is our forestry area, this could all be bots. Everything here can be bot based. Um, this is going to be food. Everything in here can be bot based. Um, we need an area to process the food. And there was a lovely suggestion of we actually build on top of the food because uh, trees require two tiles to grow so they they would require two tiles so the only way only way we could build on top of them in fact they might have required three tiles to grow uh, would be to go on top and then you can build on top of them if you put platforms on top and you can you can build platforms on top and there's no issue with them they don't need some to grow crops however only require one tile to grow so you can go up two and build on top of them and they'll grow fine underneath it so we could put all the processing on top of food production and just have the beavers go down to to get the food it i mean i spent four episodes trying to get this going here so i'm kind of like mm, maybe i shouldn't be thinking about this but i kind of am thinking about it and and i kind of like that idea especially for this one here not so much here we've got this here we don't need any processing here this is all good the processing for all this is over here and um, we can also put the processing processing around here as well for the food because there's going to be plenty of space for it so we'll see we'll see how it comes we'll see how it happens but um, right now we just want to get a decent surplus of logs and a decent surplus of planks which we have ridiculous amounts of planks right now so we're good um and we want to get some metal going so to get metal going we want to get bots going because beavers get injured and speaking of injuries as well it was a fantastic suggestion of putting in uh grinders over here which i didn't didn't do and i really should um teeth 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 no beavers Beavers, when they chop down trees, not teeth when they chop down beavers, um, uh, they can break their teeth and they become injured. A grindstone just fixes them straight away. Uh, I think we have a grindstone over here, don't we? We had a grindstone over here. I might have got rid of it. I don't know. Probably got rid of it. But uh, we had a grindstone. So uh, we might have some beavers that were injured that had broken teeth. So, yeah, who knows? But, but well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, another thing as well, uh, food. Now, you'd think if you had um, enough carrots coming in to support everybody uh, and then you brought in potatoes as well, 
you would half your carry usage because you now got two types of food. It doesn't seem to work that way. It's an, it's an observation I made. I haven't tested this at all, so I might be speaking complete rubbish, but um, it seems to be that when you bring in a second food type, the actual requirements for how much food you need drops by more than 50%. So if you was eating just, for instance, say 100 carrots, and then you added potatoes, you wouldn't have 50 carrots and 50 potatoes every day. You'd actually have less than that. It's, it's, it's not much. It's only probably drops down to about 40 to 45 carrots and 40 to 45 potatoes. So they actually eat less. And I think that is because each food type you add lasts longer. So the carrots have a certain amount of time before they, they get consumed. And the, but the grilled potatoes last longer. And because they just need to fill this hunger bar up, if they fill the hunger bar up with grilled potatoes, it will last longer than if they fill it up with carrots. But of course, they'll eat grilled potatoes once, and then next time they'll eat carrots to level up their food, because they'll, they'll eat whichever one's the lowest, lowest drop there. So they consume less food, because the grilled potatoes, when they eat those, their hunger bar stays full for longer. So every food type you add to the game means technically less food you require. So as I said, if you were consuming 100 carrots a day, and you added potatoes, you then drop down to probably using 40 of each. I don't know the exact numbers. I haven't actually tested it. I need to do a test to that, but that's an observation I've, I've seen. I was looking at this here and being like, oh, maybe stuff coming there. Our potatoes are dropping because we're not, we don't have as many coming in now. So, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, we have got those potatoes here. I think this is that we wasn't grilling them for a long time. Probably could have been having any logs. So we might just need another grill. So, but, um, but anyway, um, so, 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 we desperately want to get some metal going. We need to get this running here. So let's have a look at what we're going to do. Let us unlock the bot factories. Boop, boop. And refinery. Boop, we need all those. Uh, refinery doesn't require power. Awesome. So these can go here. Um, and they can work beautifully well just up against the back here. Because they can actually transfer power in through the back end of them. See that? Um, anywhere. Uh, they can't do the sides on the second floor. They can't do it at the front, they can't do it. On the, the lower floor, they can do it all around, apart from the door. Uh, but on the back, they can go all around. So they can just connect straight to there. So we can go one, two, and three. And then we want to go over here and do three more. I think. Hold on. I'm going to pause the game here just for a moment. Um, so three of these are equal to two bot assemblers. So we've got two bot assemblers in. So... Go one there. But building up to that's not a problem there at all. I'm just I'm just looking at how I want to space these out. Um because my plan was originally to do to do this, this sort of thing, and then have another um set of bot factories over here. But there's only, only three. You you need three to two. And each one makes a different recipe. So this one will do chassis, this one will do limbs, this one will do heads, and they will produce enough to run two of these. So that's the kind of ratio. But I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, maybe I actually want to put them, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, up against the back wall. And I'm not going to store any of them. We're not going to have actual storage for the, uh, the parts, so we don't want to do that. We just want to be making them as they go. Uh, so we can connect all those up. And yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to remove all of that. And all of that. And we're going to up the priority on uh, that and that to get rid of it. Okay. Get rid of those. Um, I don't know why I just got rid of all those. Actually. Hold on. Uh, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we don't need six to start with. We can put four in there like that, and that'll be absolutely fine. Um, we then want to transfer power across to this side, which is kind of difficult. It's actually kind of difficult doing that, because you can only run power from these, as I said before, in the front there. You can't go up one level and run power for anything there. So if we built a platform here... Um, you can see when we do it, you see the little blue mark that says you can get power. That doesn't connect to anywhere on that level. Um, whereas if you put one in 
um, the opposite way. So let's say we put a bot factory in that way. Like that. Uh, we can't connect power to oh, to this side, but we can connect it to the back at the high level. So, yeah, see, it won't connect to any of those there, but it will connect to that one there. So it's kind of awkward. you kind of got to run the power on the lower levels, which is very awkward for getting up, over, and back down again, because there's no way to get up and over these and back down again. So um, We can, of course, rotate these end ones because they can get power from the center ones but that's an option uh, we could also blow up holes and run it under the floor but we don't have any dynamite right now um, so um, and if I put these in I need to kind of put them in and have them build like now um, and, not, and, and not wait for dynamite to come along because you can't dynamite on these things you obviously have to dynamite around things so it's kind of kind of awkward so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to do this this one here. Um, as I said, we could we could rotate the end ones. Uh, they can be rotated that way. They won't get power from that that nobble there, but they will get it from the, the the one next to them, and that opens up the sides to allow us to run a power line through. So we could bridge over it, run a power line through, same on this side, and then do it that way. That would work. Um, that would work fine I don't know I don't know I don't know I kind of want them all facing the same direction <laughs> just just because I, I, I do just because I do but I can't run it because just because they have that weird ring on top that you can't get power from it's not even like the back corner piece can be used for it all. That, that would be nice if it was on a piece but you can't even use that you've got to you've got to use just the bottom row so i think this is going to be the only way we can redo it is have power run like this that's got to be backwards because it's got to be connected to the back of that there so um yeah they'll also get power from from these machines as well because uh the uh the bot assemblers can get power from any of the center pieces on the three sides so that side the back and that side not from the front so you'll get power from the universal power shaft behind you and will transfer power down anyway. So that's not a terrible thing. So getting power into them is not terrible. We could also put the uh, the ones on there. And that would run power down to them. Which means we could rotate this by 90 degrees. I like that idea. We rotate that one by 90 degrees, that one by 90 degrees. It doesn't get power from the side there. But it can get power from the assemblers above it. And we can put one there one there we still need to run power up to them anyway but in fact what we can do is put them like this they we're getting power from this universal connector into the side of them and then down into the shaft below them and then we just need to run a ladder up which i can't actually do because i've just realized we now have doors either side of the street so uh yeah we can't actually physically do that that's not going to work um and then there's transfer power over to this side because we're going to have buildings this side and we run around power into them from somewhere. I don't know about that because we're going to have the, uh, I think we're going to have the metal over here, aren't we? Maybe I don't need to worry about that. Maybe I just don't need to worry about that. Let's just build it. Just build it as it is. Don't worry about it. Don't think it through. Okay, just, just build that exactly as it is like that. Put those on top the way you originally wanted them because that looks quite good. I like that. I like that. And then what we can do is we can run ladders up. And I'm going to run ladders up actually each side, I think. So run a ladder up there and a ladder up there. Um, and I might run ladders further in as well. Just so they can come down from wherever they don't have to. So these ones don't have to go away to the end, come back, come down again. Uh, I might put the ladders in the tent. Yeah, we're doubling the ladders up, but whatever. It's fine. That's fine. Do that. But um, let's put in double platforms all the way along. Put in pass like that. There we go. Awesome. There we go. There's our pot factory that will run, but it won't run because none of these can actually be built because they require metal blocks. So we need to do that. So that's going to be all low priority. Uh, a 
apart from the pickup pick up high priority here. Okay, and then over here was where we was going to do the uh, smelters because they're four wide and they can connect to the backs of these and share power from those. Awesome. Okay, so what do we need underneath them? Uh, we want metal blocks and we want um, an underground pole. If you think that. I kind of wish I'd have rotated this around the other side, but I didn't, so it's here now. That's fine. Um, so we want to build a load of underground storages here. Let's build. Let's put four of them in. We've got we've got paths and things in between to do things. Um, I know. Uh, I keep going on about the uh, the decorations mod, and I keep kind of ignoring it because they feel chunky. They're very chunky blocks. But they do give bonuses, I think. So if I put things here, they will give bonuses to the uh, the beavers. So I might have to dot them around in places. You know, the, uh, the slope things, maybe even just like a bit back here or a bit on top. Um, considering we can't actually see underneath these uh, anyway, maybe I should have just done it that way. Um, they need to go on top of things though, so I can't, can't run them off the edge of things. They need to go on top. But... Yeah, I'm really not too sure. Let's look at that one as well. What's that one do? That one's only a one by one, so that's not fantastic. But we could always, uh, well, this, this can always float on top of things as well. That's an option for us. We could put them in on top there to do things. But ideally, that's supposed to be on top of a le on top of a, a levee. So like here, it would sit here like this, to give you an overhang either side, um, which is which is fantastic. But it's not long enough. I need I need something like this do it but then if i did that there if we actually did that with the uh the path in here um i can't put one the opposite way so it would have to be like that which means yeah i can't i can't run them all one direction but i'm sure there are ways to do it and i'm just not seeing it because i don't want to see it basically because i they feel chunky and and they block a lot of stuff and not that we can see underneath there but that's why i'm not using them because i'm just stuck stuck in my ways of not wanting to use them so yeah i will definitely try and find a way to use them in a future playthrough because they, they're they're good looking but um not for this one not for this one i think we're going to skip those decoration blocks um, even though they do give bonus aesthetics so so we'll just skip them from i could put them in the center here i know i could do that i know i already know i already already see the comments i know i could put them in i'm just not going to we might put them in some of the places later should we need to give bonuses toward beavers but generally i put all the bonuses where the houses are because that's where you know beavers are always going to be they're always going to come back to the house anyway anyway uh how about we set the two outside ones to scrap not that we need that much scrap actually how about we just set the, all of these to be metal blocks we just do that we just metal block the lot of them bump 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 like that um, and then this one can continue being scrapped because it's here already. That's fine. And that one can be removed and that can be metal blocks. Okay. And then we want to build up and we want to build a platform system. So let's remove that one there and remove that one there because that's where I'm running the ladders. Three tiles in. I could run the ladders anywhere with the way the ladders work, but I'm just kind of following the... Uh... So we've got one and two one and two and then we want to grab our little uh, universal side piece and i think i want to put one like this is how i want to do it for this one we're gonna run everything off of the side of this so we can't put one there. We can. We apparently can put one there. I don't think we can go any further than that with them. No, we can't go any further than that with them. But we're not going to go there this way anyway. Nothing's going to be here. So we can get rid of those two. So you'll go up and make this sort of platform here. And then from this, we will fill out all of the things that we need to. I actually need to run. Actually, I do need to run them all um, along, don't I?
like that because we need to have Oh yeah, we can't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we can't use the four platforms anyway, so we need to run them off the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So uh like that. We need to do that anyway, because um because the 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 soil platform is is too deep, not one deep, which is very very annoying. Okay, and then on top of this, we want to go and put our smelters with the parts on top. Whoa, not on top, there. There we go. Okay, so that's what we want to do. We want to build that there. That's a lot of effort to build that, but. That's just the way we've got to do things right now. Um, um, I do know there are these are these ones here, the reinforced ladders. Uh, they would let us build off things, but again, the the drawback is that the the four length platform, this one here, requires a two height distance, a two height connection on the first one, and that won't work for these underground piles. So we're just going to run this sort of connection thing here. So we've got the main building that come there. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. So many things for the beavers to build, but we need to get smelting going soon. So let's get this built here. At least to the point of building this one end smelter on the end here. Uh, and then we can get some metal blocks running. And then once we get the metal blocks running, we can get more going. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So... Let's just um, kind of uh, skip to the end and get some things built here. I'm going to set this to be a slightly higher priority construction site, uh, just so in stuff underneath it. Um, can I can I set everything this side to be higher construction? Not really. Well, they'll build it in whatever order they want to build it in. That's that's fine. That's fine. Twenty years. We've got fifty-three years, so we should be okay for that. That's fine. Uh, this needs gears in it, so we have to unpause the gear workshops, but we'll get some things going. These will s not get built because we don't have any metal platforms. That's fine. Uh, this is running now, so this is going to be good as gold. Um, you've got nothing to do in the range. We shall remove you. Oop. We shall set your... It's to be high priority. Okay, there we go. Um... You can then go and chop down these oak trees, which is fine. We'll get more wood coming in, which will be awesome. So everything will be awesome and wonderful and fantastic. But um, yeah, we still need to build it. Wow, that's done already. Um, we still need to build some things, which is fine. Um, you're not connected because of this here, so yeah. Okay. And then we'll restart the mine and have to just deal with uh, many injured beavers. What I need to do is I need to turn on our... Gear workshops. Maybe like in the tree planes. How are we doing tree planes? 57. Uh, do we need tree planes to make these? We do not. Okay, we just need it for the scrap. And we've got 482 scrap, and these require 30. So we've got enough to build all the scrappers. So that's not a problem. And we don't need these many scrappers. So this does not produce enough for all that. I know. I know. We use two scrap every four hours, and this produces. Two scrap every 1.8 hours, so it produces enough to run two, two smelters, okay? And we're building six, so it's way more than we need, and I know that. But I'm just building way more than we need. This is overkill. We don't need this many foresters over here at all. Definitely don't need this many foresters there. But I, I, yeah, we're just we're just doing it. We're just doing it. Um, there might be another mine somewhere. There may not be another mine somewhere. I don't remember. No, there's just the one mine on this map. So, so yeah, so we're never going to run all six smelters at one go. But I want six of them because that's how many fit in this slot here. And this is the size we've decided to go with. So, yeah. So we'll leave this one here. We will come back next time. 
and uh, continue on with where this picks up because I'm going to leave this running and hopefully we'll get these smelters made. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.